It's time now for the latest in local sports and sports. Wayne County basketball in action tonight at the Benny Radcliffe Arena. Again, those games that were canceled yesterday, rescheduled for today. New Hampstead, the opponent, region ball game. JV action gets underway today at 4.30 at the Benny Radcliffe Arena. First, the girls game is set for six. Boys first, the game to follow. Jacket varsity teams are 0-1 in region play as both failed at Burke this past Friday. Once again, region basketball tonight at the Benny Radcliffe Arena. Wayne County hosting New Hampstead. The Wayne County wrestling team traveled recently to Brunswick High School to compete in the Nigel Hamilton Memorial Wrestling Tournament. The team finished 10th overall with the reigning 7A state champion Camden County finishing in first place. Senior Noah Murphy led the team for Wayne County on the day with a fourth place finish at a weight class of 285. He finished the day with three victories, including three pins. Sophomore Dawson Sykes followed behind a sixth place finish at a weight class of 215. He finished the day with one win, including a pin. Sophomores Aaron Cordell and Anthony Favazzo made it to the blood rounds. It was one match away from placing top six in their weight class. Cordell finished the day with one win, including one pin at weight class 190. And Favazzo finished the day with two wins, including one pin fall and one major decision win. And the varsity team is going to host the three region 3-4-A dual championships this Saturday, getting underway at 10.30 a.m. The JV traveling to Appling County today. Now that Michigan's won the national championship, the final AP football poll is out, and Michigan voted number one, followed by Washington, lost the title game at two. Texas came in at three, and they list Georgia at four, ahead of Alabama, who finishes fifth for the second straight season. Oregon Ducks come in at six, FSU in at seven. Missouri eighth, Ole Miss ninth, and Ohio State rounds out the top ten. For the top teams from the SEC, Arizona comes in at 11, LSU 12, Penn State 13, Notre Dame 14, Oklahoma 15, Oklahoma State 16, Tennessee 17, Kansas State 18, Louisville 19, and Clemson rounds out the top 20. In a 21 in the final poll was NC State, SMU 22, Kansas 23, Iowa 24, and a number 25, Liberty, who finished 13-1 but got blown out in that bowl game by the Oregon Ducks. And this year, 12-team playoff, the odds are already out. Who wins the championship this year? Georgia is the odds-on favorite, followed by Alabama at 2 and Ohio State 3. Another NFL head coaching job came open Tuesday as the Tennessee Titans fired Mike Vrabel, who's been reported to be New England's next head coach. But first, Patriot owner Bob Kraft has to fire Bill Belichick. Belichick at his latest news conference says he wants to stay in New England, says he's willing to let someone else come in and pick the personnel. In fact, Belichick says he'll do whatever it takes to stay in New England and the Patriot organization who suffered their worst season under Belichick. Belichick's making it clear that if the Patriots want a different coach, they'll have to fire him as he simply is not leaving on his own. Most reports say that's going to happen. They state the marriage between owner Bob Kraft and coach Bill, Bill Belichick is over. Bob Kraft, they say, still not happy over Belichick's decision to get rid of Tom Brady. Brady went to Tampa Bay, won a Super Bowl. They state Bob Kraft has not gotten over that just yet. So, again, not happy with that decision. Most reports out of New England is that Bob Kraft will end the Bill Belichick coaching era now that Mike Vrabel has been let go by Tennessee, that the most likely choice for New England, and he's in their New England ring of honor. Question is, where does Belichick land? Falcons need a head football coach, as do the Washington Commanders. Rumors are flying in Atlanta that Falcons owner Arthur Blank is in Athens seeking coach Kirby Smart. That ain't happening. Kirby has the job he wants makes plenty of money. Georgia fans are assured that Kirby Smart's not leaving Georgia. One person leaving is Michigan head coach Harbaugh after they celebrate the national title with the parade. But for him to say sayonara and head back to the NFL, question is where does he land as well? NFL playoff picture is set. Two games this Saturday. It begins 4.30 with Cleveland at Houston. Game two Saturday night at 8 p.m. The Miami Dolphins at Kansas City. They state the temperatures in that game are <clears throat> going to be down in the teens. Sunday, a triple header begins with Pittsburgh at Buffalo at 1 p.m. The 4.30 game Sunday is Green Bay at Dallas. And the nightcap Sunday night is the L.A. Rams at Detroit. Matthew Stafford going back to the Detroit Lions location. Again, played many years with the Lions and now with the Rams. Then Monday night is the Philadelphia Eagles at Tampa Bay. The two number one seeds have the weekend off. In the NFC is the San Francisco 49ers. The AFC is the Baltimore Ravens. We have the pick for the weekend on Friday Sportscast. High school football banquet date has been set. The date Sunday, January 25th at the high school commons area. The event for the public will begin at 5 p.m. The team will be provided a meal before the banquet at 4 p.m. Again, the date once again, Sunday afternoon, January 25th. Wayne County Touchdown Club still gearing up for their big Super Bowl Saturday night giveaway, a $10,000 prize on the line. And tickets are available. See Katie at Prime South Bank. Uh, you can call me at 912-256-4698. I got a few tickets. Come on out Saturday night. 
the date is February the 10th. It says it's Saturday, February 10th, the night before the Super Bowl. Gets underway at 6 p.m. at the Pine Forest Country Club. Again, tickets on sale, $100. Come on out. The Dakota Doer is going to be performing that night. There will be finger foods in the cash bar. Once again, the date Saturday, February 10th, 6 p.m. at the Pine Forest Country Club. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.